Oh, girl. Hello there. I'm the Velvet Snatch. Would you believe that? And look who I'm here with. It is, of course, Jim Bunny Glenn. Cats have four legs. There's my random fact. There we go. That is not all cats. True. Some, you know, some cats, Red you know, hit by a bus, I guess. veteran cats. Mm. And we are here <laughs> with the sensational <laughs> something <laughs> one. This you is the average legs on a cat is actually three. Because you, you, you can't you round it up, you can't round up average legs. Yeah. So it has to be three. It, so know, if anything, you've just told everyone a lie. Yeah. yeah. Well, your first words on this was a lie. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about this? I'm just going to go away now. Bye. <laughs> How do you feel about lying? So this is this is GB News. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. No, no. Brexit means Brexit. No, uh, <laughs> we're going to get some facts in here, hopefully. Yeah. But don't send me to Rwanda, please. Um, <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. It's based on Tim Morgan, How are you doing? <laughs> no, like, so how's DragCon going for you so far? Oh, it's so fun. It's so fun, but I am so tired. <laughs> I have never got back to a hotel. I'm so glad. I don't know who did this. I don't know who in um, who in like scheduling on Pick TV decided to do this. No, it was Dave. But I had um, Kill Bill Volume 1 and Volume 2 on both the nights of DragCon. <laughs> So I've been back. Kill Bill is my favourite film of all time, honestly. Yeah. I can quote it from start <laughs> to finish. My fellow was there in bed with me and he was just like, what are you doing? I was like, Zhou Gua, Zhou Jing Zhou Gua. What is Kill Bill 2 when he pulls off the... Anyway, yes. it's not about Kill Bill, it's about me. <laughs> That's interesting though, because most people who are like fans of Kill Bill, they either like one or the other kind of thing. Like, oh really? Them, like, I like both of them because the second one, uh, he speaks Cantonese. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't speak it. My dad, my dad does, and my mum does. They have their own secret language without me. Uh, <laughs> like, like, well, we're getting them adopted. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> when, I went. Uma Thurman was getting ridiculed by the guy in Cantonese. I was like, oh, dad. Anyway. <laughs> No, that's amazing. So, how has your 2023 been? 2023? Which one was that one? Last year, right? Yeah, last year. Slow. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, 2023 has been great. Like, 2024 has been starting really, really well. It's yeah. DragCon, isn't it? Yeah. But, um, no, no, it's all good. 2024, I've got 23 is behind us. Mm. Uh, before New Year's Eve, my entire music catalogue on my E Drive disappeared because it got oh, corrupted, no. which means 2024 is when my album's going to get because i got to <laughs> do the whole thing again. Oh, <laughs> bloody hell. Oh, that is a nightmare. Like, it's back up, back up, more backups. But no, we've uh, heard that you're a bit of a gamer. Like, I'm a nerd. Can you tell us a bit about that? I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. What games do you want to know about? I know everything. If anything, <laughs> I found out last year that I was slightly autistic and my spin trust is Minecraft <laughs> and Dead by Daylight. So, uh, oh, yeah. see, I, I can't. Dead by Daylight, I was just rubbish at. So really? I was, I was trying to do it and like my friends were just, oh, you just need to do this. You just need to do this. And I'm like, I'm dead again. I'm dead. Yeah, but if <laughs> one person dies, everyone else can do generators. It's a team effort. <laughs> if anything, having one person really bad brings the NMR down. So the yeah. killers are bad. And then I'll play the game. I, I, I love Dead by Day, but I haven't done a gen in about three years because all I do is run around with a flashlight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's me. That's it. What other games are on your mind at the minute? Uh, Minecraft, Dead by Daylight, Overwatch 2. I've only just got back into it. I'm not paying him any money because Blizzard <laughs> don't deserve it. <laughs> But Diablo 4 was amazing. Uh, I, do you know what I reckon? I reckon they're making it free to play and that's what they're doing. Yeah. No, I reckon that's going to be the end goal for it. Because Diablo Immortal makes so much money. We're going to stop talking about games, honestly. <laughs> honestly, no, no, I love it. I love it. I'm, Dude, I, 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 I'm so old school that I've been playing Diablo 2 Resurrected more yes. than I've been playing Diablo you 3. You see, instead of Diablo 4, mm. Path of Exile 2 is coming out. Uh, yeah, that's coming yeah, out in Feb. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I'm just going, hey, Glenn should ask you questions as well. Oh, he's being a nerd. So, um, since being on the show, what's been your favourite place to visit? Oh, um, the worst place in the world is LA. Sorry to anyone in LA. <laughs> um, but the best place in the world that I've been since Drag Race is New York. Mm. So Manhattan is like, on, I've never moved, I've never been somewhere. I've been like, I could live here. Yeah. And then when I was in LA, I've never been somewhere. I've been like, get me home <laughs> immediately. It's just like, it's weird because the problem with LA is like, it's just the disparity of wealth is just yeah. so wild. Like we were staying in a hotel down um, like Santi Alley, mm. like there. And like, you couldn't walk anywhere. There was like, apparently next to the hotel, there were two gunshots, things like that. Yeah. Gunshots is fine. That's not the problem. Yeah. But the fact that it cost me $50 to go 10 minutes up the road to the closest shop to get like water Bloody is hell. like, if I had to spend that and I'm, I'm quite privileged, mm. imagine anyone else living anywhere below that. And it's just like, it just felt unfair. Yeah. But in New York, it's like, 
everyone was chill. And, like, every, <laughs> yeah. and you can walk everywhere and everything's everywhere. And like everything wasn't that expensive. And it was just, yeah, it's just wild. But yeah, um, New York, up there. LA down there. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a, it's really weird. I've heard that lo loads lately, like of people sort of like, you know, who work in LA and they're just like, oh, it's great if you're in the nice bit, but then when you're not, it's, and it's very easy yeah. to not be in the nice bit because. It's like one you, road over. Yeah. Like literally. Uh, I'm going to let you ask the, uh, the multifaceted <laughs> so, question because I can never remember it. So uh, we've been asking this question for a bit of a shout out for the people. So if you ever lost the use of your hands for one night, however, you had a gig that was going to pay a serious coin, who would you go to do your makeup? Who would you go to to do an outfit? And who would you go to to mix a track? Who would I go to for my makeup? And I didn't have the use of my, didn't, no use of my arms. Yeah. Like arms, like not no, just hands, yeah? Just hands. Because I reckon I could still do my face with, <laughs> because no, no, I reckon I could still do it because I'm very particular about my face, and I've seen yeah. loads of videos where people like paint with like the toes and stuff. So I reckon I could. Yeah, I could. I could. Yeah. I could. I reckon I, I wouldn't trust anyone. But if I had to trust another person to do my face, it'd probably be Tia, actually, because she did it once way back when because we're really good friends. Mm. She did it way back when we started doing drag. It was the most heinous face I'd ever seen on me ever in my life. So I'd like to give her a second chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. Um, outfits. You know what? I'd, I'd put. I'd let Tia do everything. Yeah. Yeah. I actually I like let her do everything. Really yeah. Like that. Because she has lovely outfits, and I've been doing pole dancing, so I lost a little bit of weight, yeah. which means I could probably squeeze into a four-way stretch lycras. So yeah. yeah. Oh. What are your plans for 2024 then? So yeah, 2024 was when my musical comes out, mm -hmm. which is which is the main thing that I've been working on. So uh, I worked with a lot of producers in the past, but I finally I'm like I said like in 2022 I realized I was very 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 much on the spectrum. <laughs> so I have when it comes to music, it's something that's so important to me and so personal. I want to make it perfect. Yeah. So I need to be able to know how to do it from the ground up. Yeah. So I learned to produce the whole year. So in 2024, it's going to be when I actually release what I want to release. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be really fun. And, 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 and more backups. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah lots yeah. more backups. Oh yeah, I've got a backup on Dropbox, OneDrive, <laughs> yeah, I got everything. So if it all goes down to pan, I've got some backups of I, it. So yeah. I panic bought like a Google Drive space so I could oh, put I got everything that too. on there. I got that too. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. No. yeah, yeah, Google Drive, OneDrive, and also Dropbox. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> no. Back up your stuff, ladies. <laughs> no, thank you so much for speaking uh, to us uh, something one. Have a great year. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Oh, 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 o